Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Sefullah and you are watching Seval Engineer at Site YouTube channel. Dear friends, today I am going to share with you my yesterday interview for a project in the Niam city. What the quality manager asked the question and how I answered that questions. Each and everything from that interview I will share with you in this video for your better experience. So please watch this video from the start till the end without skipping any far so you will get the full information. If you are a new viewer please subscribe to our YouTube channel like the video and share it with your friends. So guys let's start the video. Yesterday my interview for a project in Yam city and for the position of quality assurance quality control engineer. And that was the best interview. I can say that is the best interview of my life because whatever he asked, I answered the questions properly. And at the end, he told me I will be happy to keep you in my team. But now we are waiting for the Niam approval and Niam interview. Inshallah, if I get the Niam approval, so I will also share the questions for the Niam approval interview question and answer in the procedure. So now let's start the video. The first question which he asked was from the quality assurance and quality control that what is the difference between QA and QC. As you know that four or five days before I uploaded a video on this topic so I give him a very uh, detailed answer of this question. What is quality assurance? So my answer for this was the quality assurance is a procedure oriented process. In this, in the quality assurance, you have to prepare plan and procedure to get the confidence that the product or project will get the quality requirements of the client. What is quality control? Quality control is a testing and inspection oriented process. Here in quality control, they will implement the procedure and plans from the quality assurance in the project or product to get the requirement and to get the required quality of the product or project. After that he asked me that you mentioned that you can prepare IT fees for the project several and architectural work. I say yes. Then he say just what is the meaning of ITP? I say inspection and test plan. After that he asked another question on ITP that just give me brief format for the ITP that what are the section of ITP? So, in the first section of ITP is general section in which you mention permit for work format, drawings approved or not approved, risk assessment is approved or not approved, and about the manpower listing, the general thing which I may tell you in the detail in the video which I uploaded in the ITP. And the second part the material approval and material inspection, the third is for the activities which you will perform its side and their hold and witness point and inspection for that activities and the last section is testing and commissioning. So the uh, other question he also asked in the ITP that what is the acceptance criteria in ITP. The so I, my answer was the acceptance criteria for activity or any inspection is that which is mentioned in the project specification or international standard that we have to get that. Uh, value like for example if you are going to perform the slum test so the slum test acceptance criteria for a concrete is from 75 to 125 as per ACI code STM codes and project specification so he say good after that he asked another question that what is hold point and what is witness point so as you know that in this, in this topic I also uploaded a video I say for the hold point, we need a signed <coughs> WIR and approved WIR from the consultant to move ahead on the activity. For example, we submit WIR for the steel work, consultant inspected the steel and he signed the WIR so we can go move forward for the form work and all then for the concrete. And what is witness point? In the witness point, we have to submit WIR for the activity. But if the consultant give us a verbal approval and verbal permission to go ahead in the activity, so we can go ahead and he can sign the WIR later. Like the concrete, when you are going to cast the concrete, so you have to submit WIR to witness the concrete. 
may be at that time the consultant are busy so mostly they say go ahead for the concrete and just send me fixtures for the slum temperature and delivery node and later he signed the WIR so they, this is the witness point for the whole point you need approve and sign WIR and for the witness point you just need the verbal permission also and you can uh, go ahead in the activity and he, later he will sign the WIR after that he asked a question that you are at site and the construction team are casting concrete with unapproved mixed design so what you will do I say my I will issue an internal NCR to the construction team for casting concrete with unapproved mixed design and they have to submit their corrective action so he say if in case it's come to the knowledge of the consultant and they knows about that they cast concrete with unapproved mixed design and they issue NCR too so what will be your corrective action we discuss this uh, answer in the brief note but the result the, my corrective action will be a testing to quality test for the concrete if it's get this this uh, compressive stand as per specification so the concrete will be there if it didn't get in the compressive stands was not as per specification so we have to remove the concrete first we will perform non-destructive test like Schmidt hammer test and if it's not satisfactory so we will go for the core cutter test or cylinder test for the casting and laboratory to check the compressive strength of the concrete after that he asked another question about soil test he, he told me if you are going to start a project and you need some big milling material and if you went to a site to take samples so what you well which type of test you will perform for the sample i say the first test will be soil classification test and soil classification there we will see when all this is proctor bulk density drive density all the importance for the soil to to check that it is per quality or not and also we will know about the class of the soil like a1 a a1 b like that and the last he told me you mentioned in the cv that you can prepare method statement for the activities going on etc i told him yes i can prepare he told me just give me what you will put how you will prepare the meta statement what are the steps i said first you have to explain scope of work after that you have to con the construction methodology how you will execute the work as per quality and as per safety or you have to mention the manpower related equipments and tool you will be used and that also you can put x and exist for the project and you can also provide some information about the project but the main thing is scope of work construction methodology material uh, information equipments and manpower then he told me last that if i ask you that what is method statement my answer was that how to execute the work as per quality and safety requirements at site that is called method statement that this is a official documents in which we describe that how to execute work as per safety and as per quality requirement so after that interview was ended and he told me i will be happy to keep you in my team but now we are waiting for a niam approval and niam interview so guys i have one request from you that to keep me remember in your prayer to get the approval uh, from niam and fast the interview in niam if i attend the interview in the niam so i will share that interview with you inshallah if you are a new viewer please subscribe to youtube channel and show your support in the form of like the video and share it with your friend thank you